Good morning guys, welcome to winter again. It's February, so I should be expecting winter. Anyways, welcome to today. Welcome to today. It is a family affair today. We have a big... Where is the cutter? Um... Where is your cutter you stole of mine? <laughs> what are you trying to say? I'm a stealer? They're somewhere. I'm going to take this off because that side's already fenced in. I know. But you have to do this side. Yeah, so okay, let me explain to them what we're doing. So today we're doing a few things, but number one, Sam's gonna help me with, he offered to help me. Such a shock. Yesterday he said, hey, I'll help you do this tomorrow. And I was so grateful. So we are gonna move our duck and our goose into this area permanently. I wanna get rid of that pallet or should I use it for something? There's a nest behind it. Is there a nest behind it? Anyway, we constantly are bringing them in and taking them to this stall over here. And they have this big, huge stall. It doesn't make sense. I want to be able to walk in in the morning, open their door, give them fresh water and food, and let them go outside. So to do that, we have to take, we have to put this stuff on here. What is that stuff called? I don't know. We have to fence this area in. In the past, before we lived here, there were raccoons in this barn. And it makes me a bit worried that raccoons would come into our barn again and come down here and kill our chicken or kill our duck and our goose while we're asleep. That means filling in all this area. This side's already done. Filling in this area, filling in that area, and even filling in over there. And there's a tiny hole up there. So hopefully I can get that fixed today too. So Sam's working on that. The girls and I are going to be working on two things. <laughs> Sophie's going to be in charge of adding hay because we can't find straw. So we're going to put hay in our kidding field, in our kidding stall. It's not what I want, but we're going to do it. Sophie's going to be in charge of building this up, putting a bunch of hay in here and maybe even putting some hay in the feeders, getting rid of the cobwebs, all that kind of stuff. And Gabby and I are going to work on, today's like, a, it's like a special day for me. Everybody's helping. Uh, we're gonna work on cleaning the loft. Well, are you okay if we? <laughs> are you okay if we leave you? Yeah. Do you need anything? Yeah. So Sam's gonna take all this stuff down. A lot of this preparation is so that we can get ready for our new pets. Some of our new pets. So you guys know one of the pets that we're getting is a American a miniature pig. Super excited to get it. Decided he's gonna move into this stall so that when I come down to let him out each day, I can just open that door and let him out. It'll be a lot easier for him. All right, so let's get started. Come on, Gabby, I'll show you our job for the day. You wanna go first? No. Okay, here. <laughs> so it's not often that I get help from everybody. Be careful. <laughs> oh, here's a wheelbarrow. We can use it. Is this your first time climbing up here? No. Gabby's gonna help me clean up all this area here and get it all swept out. And that's the plan for today. It is for sure a lot warmer in the downstairs barn. <laughs> it does not look very happy. So see all this stuff? We're gonna rake it into a big, huge pile. You think you can hack it? Stuff? All this loose stuff and all this stuff and I'll help you. We're gonna put it in a big, huge pile so we can burn it. No well, we have brooms. Brooms work. Sophie, what? where are you at? Right here. Oh, hi. <laughs> Get to work. You guys, remember when we moved into this barn? And I kept saying like everything we needed was in this barn. Like everywhere, every time I needed something, I would look around and I would find the thing that I needed. Today I need straw. Uh, I can't get any, Sam can't find any. All the people that we deal with don't, don't have straw. We were gonna put hay in there, and when we came upstairs to clean up all the hay, like there's hay up here. It's like all this stuff. When we came up to clean this up, this is all going in the garbage. And this stuff over here is all going in the garbage. It's all hay, like old hay. But then, just as we started cleaning, I realized that this, all this huge pile of hay is straw. So I asked them, and he thinks that we should be able to use it. It doesn't look dirty or, or peed on or anything. 
So we're gonna use this in our kidding stall until we can find fresh straw. Once again, God and this little farm provided for us. Sophie! <laughs> so, are you there? So, Gabby and I are gonna shoot it down this little chute. There should be a better way to open that thing. I don't even know where Ellie is. Ew. This is where I need Sam. Oh, well, that might work. Hold on. All right, that's the best I can do. I'm not a genius. Oops. Oops. All right, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to shoot it down there and get Sophie to drag it over to the birthing area. If for some reason this isn't a good idea, let me know so I can get it out before the birth. But I think it's going to work. Wow. See, I knew I picked the right girl for the job. None of the brooms that we have on this farm are good. Toby's got the only good one. So I have a broom in the other barn. Actually, I have a few, um, but it's too light. It doesn't move the hay. And then I have a few of these brooms in this barn and they're too stubby and they don't move the hay. Toby's got the only good one. I really wanted to clean like this whole section off and get it done today and all put in this pile so that Sam can burn it. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that. So. This stuff is old, yucky hay. Not something I would ever feed to my animals because I don't know where it came from or what it, what, where it's been. But I need to get rid of it. All right, Gabby's getting it done. So the other thing I need to do is figure out where that hole is. I actually think... Okay, so this little room here is right above the duck and the goose area. This is where that hole was. This board was just pushed over a little. So all I had to do was pull it back. I think that's where it was meant to go in the first place. And I think I'm gonna get Sam to come and nail this down so that no raccoons can get in here. Awesome. Is it just me or do you guys find it really fun to be in an old barn? Like I wanna come in here and just clean all this stuff up, put it all nice and neat and put everything that's out here in the barn in there, which is what we're gonna end up doing. But Gabby did a really good job with the hay straw. All right, it's getting there. How did Ellie get up here? All of a sudden, Ellie just appeared and she was jumping up and down, <laughs> scared the heck out of me. Anyway, uh, some of this stuff is obviously not gonna go down there. Gabby, can you push all this stuff over to that pile? And then just sweep all this into a pile over here, because this stuff's all going in the garbage. And so all this hay is gonna just go in the, this garbage pile. And then this thing is gonna go in that little room. All this stuff is gonna go in that room. So this room, by the end of February, hopefully, if it doesn't get too cold, all this stuff will be gone. We will have like just an empty, clean, amazing room up here. There's a bunch of stuff over here too. All this stuff has gotta go into that room. All the wood, all the fencing, some of it can't even go up there. But it's all gonna go, so this is all nice and clean. Come here. She's like, I'm not going down there. Come here, come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Come on, Ellie, come here. How did Ellie get up here? Come here. Here. Come on. She's terrified. Come here, come on. Come on. I can't take you down with me unless you come here. Come on. Come on. Come on, Ellie Bear, come on. Good girl, you got it, come on. <laughs> she can't do it. She's terrified. Come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on, I'm going. Come here. Hello, hello, yeah. Got you. Just stay still, Ellie. This must be what it feels like to be rescuing people when they're terrified. See, I saved your life. 
Huh. Wow. So, wow, that looks good. Here, I'll help you. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a good idea. I'll empty it. So, did you see there's a hole up there, Sam? Yeah. Oh, I can still kind of... Oh, well, you're going to have to, like, nail down the wood up there or something so that nothing can get my babies. All right, let's check out Sophie's job. <laughs> She's not having a very good time of it. <laughs> oh, looks good. Here's Gabby with the brooms. Thank you, thank you. Can you help, what Sophie? You toss down? What did we toss down? A poor little caterpillar. Yeah. Do you not like butterflies? I do. All right, so now that we are all working hard, this is my favorite. My love language is acts of service. My kids, not so much. I watch other channels that have teenagers on it, and like when the teenagers are having to do work, they always like aren't as happy as they normally are but sometimes my kids get a lot of time to just rest and do whatever they want especially Gabby because she's in school and I want her to have like time to rest because that's so important I I ended up somehow with this mentality that I can't rest I can never rest I gave it to my son my oldest son he said he feels the same way I'm sure like my other sons feel the same way and I don't want to pass that on to them. I want them to know that it's okay to rest. But having said that, there are some times where everybody needs to get together and work together for the better of the farm or the better of the vacuum. family. We need like that hay that we don't have a vacuum. Mm -hmm. What we need that um, thing that sprays, that sprays, you know, leaf, leaf blower. Do you know where the leaf blower is? Battery's not charged. Anyway, I'm helping Sam get rid of this stuff. It's this stuff on here that has ripped my coat. It's unfortunate, but we did it to save our goose and our duck and make sure that they were okay. So now this stuff is going. I hate chicken wire. I'm ripping it all down. One thing about Gabby, she can sweep well. I hate chicken wire. I will never ever use that stuff again if I don't have to. It's cheap, it's dumb, it wrecks your coat. This hardware cloth is a million times better. It's more secure, especially when you double layer it the way Sam and I did to keep our animals safe. All right, so one thing you guys might not know about me is that I have never been like, I love being busy and I love physical work. What? We're going with Connor. I don't know, so somewhere. I love hard work, like I love physical work. I like cutting the grass, I love gardening, I love, I love sweeping and vacuuming and dishes and cleaning rooms. I like going, going, going. But I'm not into things that require like a lot of muscle. <laughs> I'm not like, I don't like muscle kind of work, if that makes sense. So this being a farmer is a big stretch for me, but I'm loving it. Are you guys done? Show me, show me the room first. Show me. Ladies first, Sophie says. All right, let's see. Do you guys think they did a good job? So I told them that they had to like clean the walls and... A spider started crawling on me, so I did. A spider started crawling on you? Sophie, it's minus a million degrees outside. There's no spiders. There's a spider. There's caterpillars. Oh yeah, I see it on your back. <laughs> Just joking. Well, anyways. Um, all right, it, it's not bad. It's not bad. The babies will be warm in here, that's right, for I'm sure. Done. All right, bye. Thanks for your help. Never <laughs> I allow them to express themselves. I allow them to not be happy when they're working. I expect them to contribute and work hard and be a part of our family, and they do. I appreciate that they came and they helped and they didn't complain. Were they happy? No, but they did it and they were kind and they were helpful.
I like a barn without chicken wire. This stall is really cozy. It's got this big wall here, so it's so warm. There's no breeze here. The floor up on top is really good. It's the warmest stall, I think. The straw is so soft and fluffy, and I think any kids born here will will be able to burrow down and be warm, but I still, I still wanna add a heat source in case we need it, because it's been like min minus 15 at night. So that's definitely something that we have to still do. This is gonna be the home of our little pig. Super excited to get him. He was raised in a house, so he's not acclimatized to being outside. He goes outside every day. He's outside lots of time during the day. He runs and he plays with the dogs, but he's not acclimatized completely yet to being outside 24 seven. So it'll be a little bit before we get him. Uh, if the weather keeps going the way it is, he'll be able to come sooner rather than later. I'm so excited to introduce you guys to him. But now he has a home. I just gotta clean it up. I need to get something and get all these cobwebs out of this barn. It is awful. The cobwebs are awful in this barn. Sam is still working hard. Sam needs a piece of plywood. <laughs> Here's one. <laughs> Let's just use it. We have this little area here. So Sam's going to block it off with plywood, probably put it on this side. But we're back to not having anything for this room now. So this room is gonna be a room that I could fill with another animal. <laughs> Eventually, not right away. I have a list of things that we're getting. That is it. We have a nice open stall again, the way God intended. This is where our buck lives when he's here. That's our weather and our baby. And then our does are over in those two stalls. Babies will be in this stall. Pig, I already said, is gonna be in here. Duck and goose. Uh, we're getting more duck and geese. They're gonna be in this stall. Brought their bed over so she can lay eggs in here. Seems a waste to have this feeder in here, but that's their, this is their house now. And we got all the hay into one big pile up in the upstairs barn. So um, anytime soon, as soon as possible, I'm gonna get that stuff out and burn it all and get rid of it. Or I might put it in a garden put it around our gardens, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna burn it all because there's a lot and then in the spring, I'm gonna have to clean out every single one of these stalls and it's gonna take a long time to get rid of all the stuff that's accumulated in the last two months. We are officially ready for goat babies and Sam has been a dream, even Sam dreamed it, he dreamed that we had two brown goats. <laughs> Two identical brown baby goats. He dreamed that he looked at, he never dreams, but he dreamed he looked out the dining room window and he saw two little baby goats up in the horse stall, up in the horse field. And he said like, what the heck? How are we gonna tell apart the moms? Like, how are we gonna put them back with their moms? We don't even know who belongs to who. And that could actually happen if our buck is carrying a black jean. He's gold and he had babies with a chocolate dough before we got him and she had the frosted ears. She looked exactly like Mocha. They were identical doughs and uh, he had gold babies. So let's see, but we're ready finally. Before I leave, I just wanted to tell you guys that this year is the year that we change everything around to suit us better. Last year, we was just about moving in and getting things settled and making it the barns usable for our animals. This year is gonna be about making them pretty, <laughs> fixing things up, are rearranging things to make them work better for us, especially some fences and working more like on the property and the on the grass and stuff like that. So I'm excited for spring. Anyway, that is it for today's video. I got Ellie here. She's the only one that stayed. Yeah, you're the only one. I don't know what you were eating, so I don't really want you to kiss me. That's it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?